Hey guys, what's up? It's been quite a while since I haven't been here and I am so sorry about that but it's just because I have been doing so many amazing things, you know? We're at the end of the year and as equestrians we have to look a little bit back into the year and see what has happened. So, how did your year go? Are you happy with what you achieved as an equestrian? Are you where you wanted to be at the beginning of the year? Like if you remember, I don't know, Maybe you're one of that 1% of equations that really set goals and puts them down by in written form. But the thing is that if you are not, maybe you don't even remember what it is that you wanted to achieve at the beginning of the year. And that's a shame. <laughs> because really, when you know what you want to do and when you put like, when you're really uh, writing your goals out, like really thinking about them just to clarifying them, then it is when you are going to be able to achieve those things. So if you remember what it is that you wanted to achieve at the beginning of the year because you have a very good memory or because you have written them down, what has happened? So we are the 1st of December today and I wanted to ask you that. What has happened? Are you happy? Are you not happy? And you know, it's like, I was just, I am editing the video that I'm going to put into here because I was uh, riding my horse like uh, last week. Well, uh, long story short, he has had some difficulties with his respiration. So he has been on uh, some, like he, he, had, he had been stopped for almost two months and also he had been on medication, etc, etc. So I wasn't able to really ride him. And I really started riding him like last week but this week, uh, I no, two weeks ago, and last week I really like, started going for it. But the thing is that while he was not like, while I was not really able to ride him, what did I do? It's like I was not going to just sit down and wait for my horse to get better. It's like I know that I as like as a rider I can get better for him also, and that's what I did. So while he was on box rest, while he was on sick leave. I was working on my body, I was working on my stamina, I was working really on my force and really like getting that core workout in because I realized that I need to help him a lot more. He's like, he's not a dressage horse, he was bred to jump. So uh, that he's doing so well on dressage is amazing, but it is difficult for him. It's like, it's not natural for him. So that's why I'm working on myself. And I wanted to show you this, like, hey, look at this. I am, hold on a second. So as you see here, I am editing my video. And you know, while I was editing, I realized several things. Oh gosh, what did I do? Hold on a second. I did something wrong. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I thought that I have lost you. So while I was editing, I realized several things like, yes, my form has gotten so, so much better. But still, it's like I can still work a lot, a lot on it. Like, of course, we can always get better. But, you know, when you start from a certain point, when you are just like, oh, yeah, I'm good. I have a good, uh, like, my body is good. I have a good... Hold on a second because my husband is calling. <laughs> gosh, 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 guys, sorry. <laughs> this is like the worst video that I've done ever. <laughs> okay, so I have to get back into things. No, but the thing is that I'm looking at myself, I'm seeing myself, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm good, I can be better, but I started like from such a low point because as you know guys it's like i have had difficulties this last year well i broke my back i broke my spine and that has been very very long to get over with it it happened like i for those of you who have not been following me i fell on my stairs on may 2018 so yes it has been more than a year but yet it's like i still have issues with that it's like i'm still in a little bit of pain so i have to be careful with that but the thing is that what because my horse was stopped because he was on sick leave i had to really work on myself and i was like okay so how am i going to do this i took a personal trainer hey guys i work by myself i've been working for my by myself for years and years and the truth is that when i started working with this personal trainer like at the beginning uh he was like oh my gosh your core is so good it's like what is it that you do what do you what are the exercises that you do? And I was like, no, but I do them by myself. It's like, yeah, I have, I do pilates for riders. I do uh, abdominals for riders. But the thing is that um, if, if, if I like, 
it got to a point that yes, I am pretty strong. I am stronger than most of the people that I know, let's say that, but I had to get better. I had to do more. I had to like go that extra mile. And that's the thing guys, it's like, if you want to achieve something in whatever it is that you want to achieve it, horseback riding, in your life, in your business, in your career, whatever it is, you have to go that extra mile. And for me, going that extra mile is really like working on myself, just taking responsibility for my part, because we are a couple with my horse, and yes, he has a part to do, and yes, he has to be good, but I have to be good also there. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about that guys and I'm going to leave you with some other images of my work with my horse So I hope that you like it. I I'm pretty happy with that what happened. It's like oh, Maybe I'm going to do a little bit of voiceover on on some of the things that I'm showing you So I hope that you like this video if you did please put a like down there because it's going to share it more with other people And if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment. I'll be very very happy to help you Another thing guys is that we are on December. So again, if you want to set your goals to achieve them for next year, I can help you with that. And if you want more information, I'll put the link down below to my website and you'll see how this can be done. Okay guys, I'll be seeing you and have a nice week. Bye. Okay guys, so as you have seen, I'm doing lots of transitions because the thing is that my horse really needs to get like stronger. Well, of course, if he was if he was not being ridden, he lost lots of muscle. But not only that, it's like, as you can see, I am like really trying very, very hard to keep my position straight, like be as quiet and as fixed as possible with my legs. And that's like, that really is lots of work. It's like, oh my gosh, uh, as you cannot see it in here on the images, but I am dying. <laughs> so now I'm doing the canter transitions, canter walk, walk counter. And what I'm asking him is to really like be behind, in front of my, not behind, of course, in front of my leg just really to jump into the canter and it is difficult for him I, I like I feel it that he's really struggling so I am a little bit like okay it's not a problem it's like even if you are not really jumping into it you're trying so he's trying hard so I'm trying to be nice as for myself as you can see I'm keeping my elbows as tucked in as possible into my frame because that's one of the things that I was having a little bit of trouble uh, since I had my fall you know I lost lots of strength and one of the ways that I was trying to get over that problem was by like using my elbows like flapping with my elbows you know like a chicken <laughs> and so that's something that I'm really working on as you can see here and keeping my hands low because that's another thing is that I realized that I was like really using my hands a lot like putting them upwards and that's also because i was lacking strength so yeah here i'm going to attempt a flying change which he, he does but the thing is that and this is one of the things guys that we have come to we are maybe at the biggest level of dressage in competition that we will be able to do together because he's not able to do clean changes flying changes it's like he can do them but he's late behind every single time and I'm doing everything to help him but it's like I don't know I don't know if he's ever going to get a look at this you see he's like he changes in front and then he changes behind so yeah it's like well that, those are things that you have to live with so that's that's life guys and I have to get another horse I have to get a dressage horse that's for sure <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of cool down before we finish because he worked very, very well. And yeah, I'm so happy with how he's going. <laughs>